In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating your first project with the Laser Packer 5. We'll start with setting up the laser, connecting cables and the security key. We'll install the application. We'll connect from the app to the LP5. We'll add an image that we're going to engrave. I'll walk you through these steps and the software to do the engraving. For this project, I'm going to just give you the settings. In future videos, I'll explain how you come up with these settings for your projects. We're going to use this anodized aluminum that came with the material kit. This is the one with the pointy corners, not the round corners. So on the LP5 here, we already have it mounted on the power stand with the base plate and we have the hood on. We need to connect the power for the exhaust fan. And then we need to also connect the power for the power stand. And then up here, we have the power for the unit itself. And then in the case that came with the LP5, I put that five on there. You'll find a little bag in here that has this little security key. So here's the security key, which is mini USB, which at first I was wondering why, because everything is USB-C, but it makes sense because then there's no confusion that it goes into this port. If you don't have the security key in, the laser won't work. In the back of this box, I have an exhaust system. So I'm going to take the new tube that's included with the LP5, connect that to the back of the hood. And then just stick that into my existing exhaust, which will pull it outside. Now let's get the app installed on our device. I'm on Android, so I'm in the Google Play Store. You can search for Laser Pecker Design Space and install the application. Once the install completes, go ahead and open the app. You'll be asked to log in or register for an account. Currently, the password must be a six digit number. Once you've entered your username and password, make sure to collapse the keyboard so that you can click the radio button for read and agree, otherwise you won't be able to log in. In the top right hand corner, hit the plus symbol and then select LP5 since that is the device type we are connecting. You'll have to give it some permissions including location. Two important things to note, you must be using 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and not 5 GHz Wi-Fi. And both the laser pecker and your mobile device need to be connected to the same network. Click on the create button and then on the clip art button, we're going to select the laser pecker logo. I'm going to resize this to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go over to the width and set this to be 40 millimeters. I also want this centered, so I'm going to click the button for middle in device and then I'm going to click the preview button. We're going to take our anodized aluminum and slide it underneath the hood but on top of the cutting sheet. Under the back side here, you might want to stick something underneath to make sure it's, it's level and flat against the cutting plate. And then we need to align the red dots. So I'm going to move the laser head down until the red dots just touch. And then I'm going to shift the sheet here to be where I want the engraving to be using that blue outline to understand where it will engrave. And then lastly, let's take the protective cover and put that on. Back in the app, we're going to click next. And then on this next menu, we're going to hit general engraving settings and click next again. And then for resolution, we're going to be sending this over at 4K. And we're going to be doing this as fill. Material doesn't matter. 450 nanometer laser. And then for power, we'll do 20%. And then we'll go to depth and we'll also set that to 20%. And then we're going to run this for two passes and then select start.
So that was in real time. It only took 43 seconds. So you can see here, it still looks dirty. I have some rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle. I'm just gonna miss that and then hit that with some paper towel here. And I mean, it comes right off, nice and clean, and you have your first laser engraving done. A couple tips and tricks. How can you tell if you have the lens hood off or not? I took my lens hood here, poked a hole in it, widened it a little bit, put a knot on a string, and then put this other knot that I can easily grab. So when it, the lens cover is on, I can easily see that I still have the lens cover on because this string is hanging down. Another tip is this LP5 has this security key here. I don't think it's really for security, it's more for safety, for kids to not be playing with it, or for you not to accidentally have it on so you can remove it. The thing is, I always want this near the machine and I don't wanna lose it, like look how small it is. So there is a small hole on this, so what you can do again is run a string through the hole, and then I tied it onto this hook I had and then bent the hook that then I have 3M tape on. And so I'm taking this 3M sticky tape. I'm gonna place it on the back of the laser here. And now if this is unplugged, I don't lose it. It's still with this and you always have a secondary backup one. So I hope this helped you get your LP5 set up and create your first project. There's gonna be much more content, so please check back, and I'll show you things like how do you pick your settings using the material test.